whatever Cisco do with all images installed and you don't need to install any images you can do it again actually to make sure that the fix command is applied that means only you want to actually apply the VLAN 10 assigned to this interface so that's great all right guys in today's video we're going to be learning what is cisco iosv and how to install it on eve ng to practice routing and switching for ccna ccmp and ccie courses so we're going to be learning what is cisco iosv and what features is going to be supported by this uh, cisco images and of course where to download cisco iosv chemo images to upload them into your eve ng to practice your ccna or ccmp course and then lastly we're going to apply the fix command to run those uh, iosv images which is going to be cisco uh, virtual switch or cisco virtual router and lastly we're going to create a small lab to practice vlaning and trunking with cisco virtual router and cisco virtual switch So now here we are on EVNG and simply by clicking add a new lab, we're going to say iOS V lab here. And here, let's just type IOL or whatever, Cisco. We're going to install Cisco VIOS router and Cisco VIOS switch in this course. So now here we need two files, which one of them is rotor and the second is switch. So you can download your Cisco IOSV rotor and switch from Cisco website, or of course you can go to our service here and just go to the Kimo QCAF2 RAR files and here on Cisco VIOS. And of course you can download VIOS, which is rotor, and these are the switches, and of course, these are the latest version by 2021. So, this is the easiest way that you can download uh, Eve NG Cisco IOSV images. And if you need actually to have Eve NG with all images installed, and you don't need to install any images, you can buy Eve NG full pack images here, as you can see and it's already installed these images and here as you can see we have vios these two versions and all these images are already installed in this version and you don't need to deploy any of them just you need to import it to your vmware workstation as a virtual machine and you will have all these images without any limitation and you don't need to do anything or buy these images from their website and then if you want to deploy your GNS3 and Eve NG by yourself, here is the great place that you can download all the images, the lab, and these are the video instructions how to install this QCAF2 images or IOL or Dynamics from our service. And you can deploy your lab in your GNS3 or Eve NG. And as you can see, they are a great and latest version of Chemo files here. And of course, IOL for uh, some uh, vendors. So, and here we'll go back to our topology. Again, we need to install Cisco VIOS router and Cisco VIOS switch. So what is Cisco IOSV? It is an implementation of Cisco IOS that runs as a virtual machine. So this V refers to the virtual IOS virtual. And you will provide with the great functionality for layer three and some of them in layer two actually you cannot. But the great things that it support 802.1Q, which is for trunking and VLANing, and the rest of them, as you can see, BGP, DHCP, DNS, EIGRP, which is a great option that you can practice your EIGRP routing and static routing, IPSEC, and MPLS, and the rest of them. And the features that may not actually work or it's not supported is going to be here. So that's great. That means you can practice most of the features by Cisco IOS V switch and router. And here in their website, the way that deploy IOS V is something different. If you have QCAF2 images, that means you can easily just upload it into your Eve NG and then apply the fixed permission. But if it is uh, something like 
VMDK format you need to convert it and use make directory on your EVNG and uh, rename your VMDK images to the word IOA.QCOV2 and then apply the fix command but hopefully I just download these images here from my website and these are the two folders that I'm downloading actually this is the tar file that I have downloaded and simply you should right click and say extract here you'll see them like these two folders so that's great we want to upload these two folders to our EVNG emulator so we should copy this path and again we'll go here to the FileZilla and we want to actually connect to our EVNG by FileZilla. If you want to download FileZilla simply, you should go to here, Google, and just say, download FileZilla or whatever. For example, we have another option, which is VNSCP, and here you can download it into your uh, computer and the installation is very easy. It is a tiny application and you will have the application like this so simply you should type your ip address of your evng and the default root credential and the password is eve and connect to your evng and then you should go to this path so let me go back sorry here we should go to opt unit lab add-ons and chemo and here this is the EVNG side and this is the computer side as you can see local side and this is the remote side so that means when you copy this path you can exactly go to the directory by just exploring here but I prefer to just copy the path and then we're gonna upload these two folders here in chemo folder on our Eve engine so that's great note that you should use the default naming for your VIOS and you don't need to change them and here in the Eve engine you can see this is vert IOA.QCOV2 for the rotor and this is for the switch so next up you need actually to apply the fix permission command so how you should connect to putty again to download putty you should go to putty in google and here you can or here sorry you can simply download the latest version of your putty that's great and here once you upload your images vios images into your evng we should actually connect to EVNG. How? By typing the IP address. Note the IP address is this one. So that's great. And the root and again the default password. So we want to go to this path. Let's bring it back again. And again we're going to copy this path here and we'll say CD. That's great. And we want to go to this path so cd vios l2 which is for this one and we want to actually apply this command so first off we'll say enter to go to this directory here as you can see we are on this directory that's great and we're going to apply this command so Actually, it copies the directory before. If you see that, this is the error. That's great. And again, we'll say cd to dot. We'll get back. And again, cd vios. The second one, which is going to be this one. That's great. And again, sorry. Let's copy the command again. So that's great. Again, you can do it again actually to make sure that the fix command is applied. So that's great. And here we'll go back to the 
topology here and simply will say add a node let's say IOL sorry IO and here we can see V IOS rotor and V IOS suit so let's add them to our lab here and then let's add VPCS which is going to be our client so that's great so now we want to actually connect these three devices and practice the VLANing or trunking in our switch and rotor here so let me actually change the name here let's say something like R1 or rotor and this is the switch and this is the client well, let's say client that's great so now is the time to connect the devices I'm going to connect client to the port 1 here gigabit 0 slash 1 and again I'm going to connect the switch here from gig 0 slash 0 of my switch to the rotor here so that's great and we're gonna select them all and we'll say start devices so it may take less than a minute actually to boot our Cisco switch and rotor so that's great we'll wait for them and then we need to create a sub interface in my rotor here and apply the VLAN 10 here to the switch and of course we want to assign this port gigabit 0 slash 1 to the VLAN 10 and apply the VLANing to this client that means only we want to actually apply the VLAN 10 for this client so that's great and here let's go back for the rotor and again for the switch so that's great the switch is ready and here we're gonna say no for the rotor and let me actually change the appearance here let's change the font here so that's great here we're gonna say configuration terminal and the host name of course is going to be a rotor we don't need this command and we're gonna say interface gig 0 slash which interface 0 slash 0 so that's great no shutdown and again interface gig slash 0 dot 10 which refers to vlan 10 and we'll say no shutdown of course is a sub interface you don't need to apply no shutdown but in case of that this is the habit and ip address is going to be 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and 255 255 0 and here it says um, configuration ip routing is need encapsulation so we'll say encapsulation dot one q vlan here we should type 10 and again we are on sub interface gig 0 slash 0 for vlan 10 and the ip address now it should work and let's verify duping 10.10.10.1 that's great and we'll say end and a w so we save the configuration and we'll go back to the switch here let's again change the appearance to make it better for you to see my screen so that's great now we want to apply the trunk command here and we're going to actually assign this port gig 0 slash 1 
to the VLAN 10. So this one again should be assigned to VLAN 10 and this should be assigned to trunk port. So that's great. So here we'll say configuration terminal and uh, let me say interface gig zero slash zero switch port switch port mode trying and here you said you should apply the dot one q trunk encapsulation dot one q and again let's say switch mode port switch mode trunk Sorry, we should go back to the interface, interface gig zero slash zero, and switch mode, switch port mode, mode truck. That's great. And we should assign this port gigabit zero slash one to VLAN 10. So first off, we need to create VLAN 10 and exit, and here we'll say do show vlan brief notice if you want to apply the command in exam mode here you should type do so now we have vlan 10 and here we'll say interface gig 0 slash 1 switch port access vlan 10 that's great and again do show VLAN brief. Now we can see that our VLAN 10 assigned to this interface. So that's great. And uh, let's say interface VLAN 10 to assign the IP address to make sure that we can ping our VLAN interface from our client. So that's great. 10.10.10, sorry, 10.1.1.10. 100 and 255, 255, 255 and 0 and no shutdown and exit and now here we'll go to the exit mode and we'll verify show VLAN brief again now we have our VLAN 10 which is assigned to VLAN to this interface and show IP interface brave. Here we can see that our gig interface is up and the sub interface again is up. So that's great. That means we should be able to ping 10.10.10.1, which is the router. So that's great. And itself, which is going to be 100. And again, from the router, we can ping the VLAN port of the switch which is VLAN 10 so that's great and here in the client we'll say IP 10.10.10. let's say 15 and a slash 24 and the default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.1 so that's great now we should verify that we can ping the sub interface of the router from the client here ping 10.10.10.1 so that's great and of course from the router we can ping 10.10.10.1.15 so that's great so that means our VLANing and trunking work perfectly in our diagram so let's do some verification commands something like show interface trunk here here we can see gig 0 slash 0 is apply for this uh, trunk port here and of course it will apply vlan 1 and 10 that's great so this is how you can install cisco ios v rotor and switch and practice your routing and switching in your evng lab of course you can add other rotor here for example let's say this router 
and connect it to this router and make another LAN area here and connect these two LANs from your uh, routers which is like a real production environment and here in the EVNG you can see this is vertioa.qcaptel for the router and this is for the switch so i hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on notification like the video to get every new update almost every day